Okay, now we're going to connect the motor. This is the x-axis motor that rides along the bridge of the gantry. And we're going to have to um, put it on this motor mount, and then it will mount on this plate. There's a uh, proper orientation for this motor. You want the wires. Generally, you'll either get a motor that has a connector or has wires coming out of them. You want that portion of the motor to be oriented um, along the side that you only have one hole on the side. You'll see the other side has like this. And you want to make sure also that the opening is on this side of the motor. So we're going to take number six screws. It's going to have a washer and a nut. And we're going to hold, fasten the motor onto this piece um, with these. You will probably not get um, screws this long. You'll probably get screws in the one and a half inch length range, one and a quarter to one and a half. I didn't have any of this at the time of this shooting, so um, I'm using uh, two inch uh, screws. Just in, uh, insert the, the screw and washer. And these are actually threaded, but you're probably not going to get the ones that are threaded. If you do, you just have to thread it in. This is not the same threading as the number six, but it still works. Sometimes it's easier to start the screw with the nut already on, so I'll show that process to you in a second. So alternatively, you can start the screw into the motor flange. and then just put the nut right there as you're starting the screw. And again, you don't want to tighten it all the way. You want to have some looseness there so you can adjust it later. Go ahead and tighten it down once you've gotten all four screws in. Okay, now we're going to attach it to this plate. And um, we're first going to put the, um, the drive pulley on. We're not going to tighten the drive pulley yet because we want to make sure that we have it at the right level that's necessary for the proper functioning. We want to make sure that the screws here do not get in the way of the, um, the timing belt. We'll start off with the three inch screw. And the three inch screw is going to go, note the orientation, and go into, you'll see that this um, protruding portion is to the, uh, to the left. And you started a screw, and we're going to use Three nuts in all, two nuts to add as a spacer. You don't want to tighten it down completely yet because you still want a little bit of movement in there just to make sure that you can get that mount on. Take another three inch screw and put it in this, this hole. And we have a three inch screw that we also have two washers, one big and small washer, relatively. We're gonna have three one quarter inch um, inside diameter bearings, and then another small um, uh, washer, and then a larger washer. And the smaller washer is just to uh, keep the, um, the bearings in motion and not, uh, these washers will conflict with the outer races, so you wanna make sure that those Smaller washers are in there. Okay, so put the last screw in to this uh, this sole um, hole here. You're gonna put on a washer. You will put on a thin washer. Add all of the bearings, three bearings. Uh, it has a quarter inch bore or quarter inch inside diameter a thin washer, and then a large washer. And then we're going to go ahead and put on the mount. OK, 
and you'll see that you want to make sure that it has a, it, it is going to be uh, up against this portion we're going to go ahead and put that nut on first and we're going to go ahead and tighten that down now these has to be these uh, nuts have to be um, at the same distance as the three bearings plus washers so we're just going to add the uh, the final nuts and then we're going to we are going to take some calipers and measure it but you don't really need calipers um, I'm going to use it just because I'm, I'm wanting to get this perfectly um, parallel and if it's not perfectly parallel then you run the risk of the, um, the, the timing belt um, trying to hit the edge of the of the drive um, of the drive pulley so uh, try your best at getting uh, this distance the same as this distance, or getting this distance the same as this distance. You can also alternatively use a, um, use a ruler. You'll be able to get it to, if you have a ruler like this, you'll be able to get it to a 1 32nd of an inch um, accuracy. So you just take the ruler and then you go to the other side and make sure that it's the same essentially line. Um, I'm going to use calipers, so I'll show that process. <clears throat> so I'm going to need to get the... I'm not going to need to get it to about three quarters of an inch. <clears throat> seems to stay. So I'm going to try to get that, try to achieve that on the other side. Right now I'm at 0.73, which is pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and tighten the first one, just so I, that's not going to move. And if your calipers don't fit in here, I got 7, 4, 3, 5. You can always use this portion too. Good. I'm going to tighten these down and I'll recheck the size. So it's, these two pieces are pretty um, parallel. Now we're going to need to tighten the drive sprocket and you want to get it as close to the, to the edge as possible. You only need maybe a 32nd of an inch space um, and you're good. So let me go ahead and tighten that in. And you want to get these, you want to get these um, set screws pretty tight. If you have a flat on the shaft itself, you want to use that flat with one of these. Just wiggle it out, but you don't want to try to, you don't want to loosen it while you're getting it out. Okay, so that's in, and we are ready to put it on the Z-axis motor, so we're going to do that next. Yep. Alright, you're going to have a, the Z-axis motor will either have, um, you're going to need the shaft to come out to the top, because you're going to be using the shaft on the top, and you may get a motor that doesn't have the shaft, so you're going to be mounting it in this direction. If, you, if it does mount in this direction, if it is necessary to mount in this direction, you will be provided screws that have the length to be able to do so. In this case, and most likely you will be getting a, a shaft with a <clears throat> at the other end. And you'll be using um, most likely one and a half inch or one and a quarter inch number six screws, four of them, and four nuts, and four washers. Also note the orientation of the of the motor. All of the, the wires should be coming out to the same side. <clears throat> now this motor has the ability to move left and right along the, uh, the plate and that is for um, perfect, um, perfect alignment with the lead screw that's going to go up and the nut that's going to be on the top. Project. 
Oui. Non, 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 we're going to add um, the positioners for the for the plate or for the V groove bearing first, and it's the cross dial and screw. We we'll get these in first, so we don't have a problem getting them in later on. You don't want to go all the way through, you want to make sure that it stays below that section. Now you have a, um, you'll need a 3 8 screw um, at 2 inches in length and a washer. I'm going to go through this side. <coughs> and we'll take a washer just like in the previous um, assemblies, a thin washer, and if you groove bearing, we'll finish it off with a 3 8 inch nut. And you can tighten this as tight as you can with your fingers, and it'll, it'll still move, but it'll still it'll it'll stay flat to the surface of this, which is important. Yeah. On these two um, bearing positions, you you only need the screw. You don't need a washer on the other side. And you'll have the washer, thin washer, and that. be edited up. So. Okay, this one you can go ahead and tighten. Right, so. yeah. <laughs> we're finished with this assembly. Now we're going to we're going to go ahead and add it to this piece, and we're going to position it just like this. You'll see that there are three holes and you'll have three holes in the same uh, spacing pattern. You want to put it in that orientation. And you're going to use one and a half inch screws, three of them, and cross dowels. You don't want to tighten this too much because you still need to get two more screws in. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs>